What is up YouTube, it's Perspective again. Today I've got something tech for you. It's my new Samsung Galaxy S22. Ultra. I ordered it in the graphite version. Ordered it in March. Um, arrived early enough. It arrived before mid-May, which was uh, the original date. So I'm really happy about that. And I was able to take it on my trip to Paris recently. And it is a workhorse, but I'm just gonna jump into the unboxing and you can take a look at the detail and uh, how nice a phone it is physically. So I was super excited when Samsung sent me the notification via DPD that the phone was on its way. Originally it was around the 17th of May that it was meant to arrive, but it arrived um, just at the beginning of May. So, um, I mean, it took long enough. I ordered it at the end of March. Um, so I've been, <laughs> I was checking it pretty much daily um, in terms of uh, if there were any updates or anything like that, but it eventually came through. But yeah, I ordered the graphite gray because it was uh, online exclusive. Um, I guess me being me likes a bit more of a, a unique aspect to the things that I buy. So the graphite gray also goes with my graphite iPhone as well. So I guess like in terms of devices now, they're pretty much all, all gray. Um, so on the sides, it's kind of uh, a black bezel. Um, the phone is big. I mean, I don't have the biggest hands, if you know what they say. <laughs> um, but the phone itself is hefty. It's the biggest phone I've ever owned. Uh, I used to own the the last Galaxy Note that I had was the Note 4. Uh, it's way bigger than that. It's like a slab. and um, But I guess I knew that before I ordered it. And it's uh, the reason I ordered it actually was so that uh, it stops me carrying multiple pieces of equipment. I did lots of research on it. Uh, I was watching all the reviews about the camera performance and that's what kind of swayed me. And um, I guess from my trip recently, it kind of proved that it is a, a brilliant device. Um, and for the quick shooting, just out and about, maybe street photography, whatever it might be, it, it works like a charm. Um, I didn't do much night photography, uh, but I think, again, it has the capability. I just need to carry around the tripod and, you know, make sure the phone is still and whatnot because even so, it's kind of like the performance I've seen as well. Uh, you can even do astrophotography, which is amazing for a phone. But um, the setup was quite quick. I had a Galaxy S20, um, S21 from last year. Uh, it was a beautiful phone in terms of physicality, like for my hand size, S21 size and the new S22 size is perfect. It feels so good in the hand. I mean, it's. I'd say, I mean, obviously iPhone is premium, but in terms of dimensions and being able to hold a phone comfortably in this year, day and age, Samsung nailed it with the S21. So I, I, I basically set it up um, via cable to do a transfer across, um, and the process was very quick. Obviously I've sped it up, sped it up here, but um, it was pretty much seamless. Everything went through really quickly. I don't think I had any issues. Uh, porting all of my data across um, and I guess you can see the use of the note pen um, S pen sorry um, also helps in certain scenarios um, but the functionality there with the S pen is kind of like unique cases where I want to do in sort of handwritten notes or I'm um, you know potentially sitting at my desk and don't always want to reach across potentially uh, but also, I guess, as a as a trigger mechanism, uh, I tried recording some video footage with it earlier, as a, and then I was using it as a trigger to uh, record the video starting and stopping it, so it's quite funky as a, as a remote. But um, the phone itself, physicality-wise, the color is beautiful. Um, it does feel very premium, and I think the color was the right choice. I guess the only alternative color I uh, potentially two other colors, a mix of the two, uh, a mix of the uh, what would make the gray, the white and the phantom black. Um, those are the only other two colors I would have considered for this phone. Um, but yeah, the gray is, is, is really nice. 
So in terms of cases, um, I ordered the accessories for this phone way in advance of the, of, well, not in advance. I knew that the phone would take a while to arrive, but um, I went sort of accessory shopping uh, whilst it was being created. And I went for the silicon cover with the strap in white, but also ordered an extra strap in the sense of that bright green is not necessarily up my street. Um, it's it's too too in your face kind of thing. I mean, I, the red isn't exactly not bright, but I think um, for me, the combination of the red and white, I, I love typically white and black. I mean, not white and black, uh, red and black as a combination, but they don't do cases in that color, especially with the strap attached. So the next best thing was white and red. And so my daily sort of kitted out version of the phone is uh, the silicon case in white with the marble red strap, but turned the other way around so that it doesn't actually say marble on the outside. Again, personal choice. I'm not, uh, I'm not against marble or anything like that. I do like their films, but um, just keeping it plain red is, is the way for me. And the case is really nice, sort of TPU, soft TPU, very grippy. Um, it feels nice in the hand. And I guess without the um, strap, it's kind of difficult to hold. But I think the material of the silicon case actually would assist even without a strap. So, you know, you're not gonna um, lose grip or necessarily so the pen itself is is a beautiful piece, uh, very sort of accurate. The latency um, isn't really noticeable, and in some of the apps, um, it's kind of a nice satisfaction aspect to it, where it makes the sound of like you writing with either a pencil or a pen or something like that. It's like a subtle addition from Samsung, but it makes that user experience a little bit better. So I ordered the uh, clear standing case as well uh, because I, you know, like to mix things up every so often. And with my original, I ordered this see-through case with the stand uh, in situations where I want to change up the color. So um, being able to see the gray rather than the white, and the ability to stand the phone up um, is, is there too. It's also um, now. I'm gonna, the, the next thing that I'm gonna order is uh, probably one of those pop things at the back or the rings where I can um, slide my finger through so that I can hold the phone in one hand. But the clear case is, well, nice quality, um, what you expect from Samsung, and it's very durable. It has like a thicker lip on the back, and um, I don't think it would uh, cause much damage, I guess, if you dropped it, but <laughs> I don't think I would risk it uh it's protection you know it's it's a level of protection it's not going to protect it from all sorts of sort of drops and stuff like that and i've heard that the edges of the screen is quite vulnerable so i uh, just fingers crossed that i don't drop it but this is what it looks like um with the see-through case uh, this phone isn't going to be handled without a case i'll tell you that it's too expensive and too fragile for me to be uh, leaving it naked like that so yeah but all in all um, you know this is this is a phone for me to take as a uh, proper sort of photography piece of kit uh, for when I'm out and about the main reason was the uh, ability to do the dual cam it's called director's view because when I'm doing vlogging and whatnot I want to be able to you know show what I'm recording but also show my reaction at the same time I mean I could go around with two cameras but uh, that is like you know going over the top says a guy who just dropped so much money on one phone for that feature but I'm hoping that this phone lasts for um, a number of years anyway I uh, went to went for the 256 gig so that the memory could be managed easier um, 12 gigs of RAM so you know that's more than enough for the foreseeable future but yeah, um, I'll maybe do a follow-up video with a uh, further review, but this was just an unboxing to show the phone itself and some of the accessories. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If you've got any questions about it, I'm happy to answer it. Um, but that's it.
Uh, peace out for now, and I'll catch you later. Yeah.